Hey, what is up, guys? This is Eagle, and uh, going to be bringing another mod. This time, we're going to sort of uh, go back to what I was talking about in yesterday's video about no, it wasn't yesterday. The last video about unique weapons and doing leveled weapons or custom weapons and sort of incorporating that into the unique weapon to that way we're not dealing with uh, base stats we can have a little bit more unique stats with it so of course i already opened up um the follow dsm i'm just gonna save this as uh save that as whatever so of course um i'm just gonna go ahead and get a container here first just so that we have something to put it in um, what's this one look like? That one looks fine. I'm just creating a unique one that way I can get rid of that and make it so that, um, it's easier to reference to. But... I don't think you, but no, you don't need to do this. Especially since I imagine you have your own container you want to shove it in. So, there we go. Now we have that. So, now we need to uh, have a weapon to mess with the uh, base of. So, I'm just going to go ahead and mess with the knife just so that... Just so that... Uh, of course, I lost my train of thought. Doing the knife because it has less things to mess with and it'll be faster to go through as creating a unique weapon. Since, of course, I want to uh, go through the leveled items as well as how to incorporate that into the unique items. Then it'll give me a chance to explain the unique weapons a little better since there were some details I left out in the last video. So, of course, that name doesn't matter because it's going to get overridden. Just create some stats so that we can sort of just tell that it's definitely the weapon that we're talking about. So, of course, now we have that. Um, there we go. Now what we need is we need to go down to here to LL. This is uh, leveled, which whenever it's leveled, it basically means that the higher level you are, that, you know, the more likely that the knife will already have a modification on it. So we're going to rename that to our Eagle Knife. And of course, I forgot the ES on that, but there's our knife that we were doing. So now it will take this knife and it will level it. So, uh, of course we're messing, want to create a new form since we don't want to override that, otherwise every single uh, leveled knife will be to that and you don't want that. So of course now we're going to uh, make the unique weapon again. Except for this time it's a knife, so it'll be a little easier. So go to custom item, and uh, we're going to piggyback off of uh, Pikmin's n knife, since it's already a knife. Except for, uh, you can probably imagine what we're going to do in a second, is that we're going to change this from LL knife to... Um, LL Eagle's knife. So that now, our unique weapon will be leveled off of this knife. And I'm not going to forget to override the name this time, since uh, the override, otherwise, it would just do what the base knife is called, which, of course, the base knife for this time is uh, Brad's knife. Um, I think that's what I named it anyways. But, beside the point, 
then any modification we add to it, it would say uh, the modification and then the weapon, just like if you're modifying it from the workbench. So, of course, we're going to go back here to Pikmin's Knife again. Just put our name there. Uh, leave these as they are just because I want to make it easy. But so, create a form, which um, again, with this one, this is the list of the modifications that will be on the knife, which you can only have one legendary modification on a weapon at a time. I've, I've tried having two. It didn't work for me. However, you can have multiples of these mods, um, except for not with the knife, because knives are different. So there we go. Now we have that. Now we have to make a quest for it. The reason why it has to be a quest is because uh, with the quest, it will run through and spawn the weapons in to the game, and it will only do that one time. Which, since they're unique weapons, you don't want five or so of them in the game. You just want one of them. So, of course, we can name that whatever. Uh, you can change the priority. It doesn't really matter because this won't show up in the Pip-Boy uh, as normal quests do. So, you know, I could have that at 45 or at 50, but... I'm just going to leave it to zero, uh, which start game enabled means that uh, whenever you start the game, you know, like, or you start a brand new game, that it will be enabled. Uh, oh, yes, as you can tell by the fact there was no quest name, that it doesn't show up. Uh, it runs once, which means that it goes through everything once, and it allows repeated stages, which means that uh, you can have the stage multiple times, but it will only run through it once. Quick, get rid of all of these. Which, uh, for these quest stages, usually these are used to... Um, what's it called? Uh, to sort of indicate different sections of a quest. Which, for this one, those separate spots are just basically it's spawning the weapons into the game. So for searches like this, it says the set stage of 10, that means that it will set it to uh, 10 or set it to whatever, which it seems to go up in increments that don't really matter since the program runs through all of them. Which, by the way, if you ever mess with the papyrus fragments in here, if you press compile and nothing happens, that means that it loaded correctly. If it pops up something, then it means you mess something up. Uh, get rid of all of these. Oh, oh yes, you can uh, double click this or you can click edit properties. You don't want to edit the source. The source, uh, the source is what I was talking about in the preview where that's the actual scripting that I was in no way going to be able to actually um, alter. I mean, not alter, uh, recreate. So now we have this. Um, actually, I don't know why I closed out of that. Uh, last time we had to create a reference using the uh, dummy no edits, and that's because, again, with the whole quest thing you have to have a reference for the weapon to spawn in and because it's a specific reference it means that you can only use it once that way you don't have multiple things spawning or multiple weapons spawning in so this time uh, as a quest alias we are going to have we are actually or again we're going to have Eagle's Knife, since it's a knife. And it's going to be optional. And this time you're going to click specific reference, except for you're just going to leave it like that. And you're going to press OK. 
And then you're going to create another reference alias, and this is going to be the container. So, so you go container, if I can spell it right. Specific reference, select a forced reference, and select this. And because it's a container, it's always going to be a persistent reference, so we don't have to do that. Click no on that because I don't want it to mess up on me. So there we go. Now we can go back to the script. So with the script, we will add a script. We're going to go under the ID string. Call it eagle knife. If I can spell knife. Go under the quest stage, which is going to be 10 because that's what the quest stage was under quest stages. The level list. Which is going to be LL Eagle's Knife. Yes. Wait. Let me just check this. Uh, yes. Eagle's Knife. So the form list is going to be. Oops. Let's see, it was custom. Yes, the filter is just, there we go. So, of course, the, oh, I, hoo I almost fucked that up there. Yes, for the leveled list, it's going to be your actual custom item, and then for this one, it's going to be the custom items mod uh, that, uh, that uh, leveled things mess up with me. So the reference to, actually, we're not going to have a reference to. We're going to have alias to spawn in, which in this case is going to be our equal container. Of course, you can have a reference to and just click on the uh, container instead of creating an alias, but to just sort of make sure that it's definitely got that, that we're going to do that. And for this one, we're not going to do anything for here because it's going to, because we want to place it inside of the container. We don't want it to spawn on top of it. And of course we want the alias to force as the eagle's knife since that's the knife. And we're gonna press okay to that. Okay. And of course just make sure everything is here since sometimes it likes to get rid of the properties. Wonderful. So now we have everything. I will see you in game and oh yes, of course, save. You always want to save. So now I will see you guys in game to see if it worked. Hey, what's up? So we're in game at Abernathy Farm. It's basically gonna be where I put everything. But we're gonna go ahead and sprint over here to this table that we that I placed. And we can see that inside of the bag is our awesome knife, which instead of having the standard damage and value, you can tell that it is our leveled um, values from the extra knife that we created, which that knife we can, that one we can place all over the place if you want to, but this one right here uh, that I'm spinning around very strangely uh, is going to be our unique one. And because I was too lazy to change any of the uh, legendary stats or anything like that, it's still just the bleed, which you can tell it's it's very damaging, very damaging. So that concludes this video. Uh, if you have any suggestions for the next one, then you can go ahead and send a message. Um, of course, I'm always taking input for things I may have missed in the last video or in my videos, such as I had sort of failed to explain some things in the last one that I hope I covered in this one. Um, if not, you can 
still let me know and I'll add it to the description. Um, so that is all. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, happy modding. And I'll see you guys in the next video.